Sacramento's regional transit is suffering a multi-million dollar loss in revenue due to fewer riders. There has been generally a trend in traditional transit ridership um, going down. The district has been criticized for poor security and raising fares in the past. Tonight we're getting answers for you on how they plan on bringing passengers back. The declining ridership numbers is, is the red flag that everyone should pay close attention to. Craig Powell, president of government watchdog group Ion Sacramento, is seeing a troubling trend in the fewer number of people riding regional transit. They need to wake up. They need to see that their transit system is in crisis. How far have the numbers fallen? In 2016, there were more than 25 million trips on RT. In 2017, that number fell to 22 million. And this year, ridership fell to 20 million. That's more than 4 million fewer trips in just two years. So what caused the dramatic drop? Well, we think the biggest factor has been just our step up on uh, fare enforcement and security. RT has added 60 fare inspectors trying to catch passengers who don't pay. Now on any given day, um, it's unlikely you're going to ride without being inspected or at least seeing our inspector. But Powell blames RT's decision to reduce routes and raise rates. We urge them not to do it because we knew based on the experience of other transit systems that it would crater ridership. Any fare increase always has an impact. There's always a, a decrease in ridership. RT says competition from rideshare apps like Uber is also a factor. So in February, they launched a new micro transit on-demand service in Citrus Heights to get some of those passengers back. So far, they say, it's been a success. It picks you up where you are, takes you directly to where you need to go. There's an app that you can use to schedule it. It's the latest effort to get passenger numbers back on track. The micro transit service is expanding to South Sacramento this month and the Central City area later this fall. RT says the new fare checkers and other security efforts have also helped reduce crime by 29% compared to last year.